guys, it's Caroline, and today I'm going to be filming my March favorites video. So I cannot believe March is over. That's really crazy. And actually, it's 9.30 at night right now, and tomorrow morning, I have my show choir state festival. I'm so excited. We need to win, and I just got back from my psych party, and I'm going to film this video because March is over, and so... Yeah, so I'll just get on to my favorites. The first thing is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. I've still been using this every day this month. Um, love it still. I'm actually not wearing it today, but I wore it every day. I actually wore it during the day today. I just took it off for the psych party. I just had something on that I'll show you later. But um, still love this so much. Next thing, this is kind of new. It's actually old, but like new again because I didn't use it during the winter. Coastal Sense Camo Quad. I used this last summer. I think I'm going to buy a new one because mine's broken, but it just looks like that and I love it. I use this salmon-y color kind of mixed with this light skin tone color just because I don't want to run out of the salmon one because it's the best one and I hit pan on it a lot. But I just kind of mix those together for under my eyes and I apply it with a foundation brush and it's really nice. I'll use the yellowish greenish one for any like blemishes and red areas. I don't really use the white. I guess you could use it for like highlighting, but I don't really do that. But yeah, I actually really, really, really like this and so I do think I'm going to buy another one because I really like it. Um... Then I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, which I've been loving this month. I was using it just to use it up, as you can see. It's almost gone. But I actually think I'm going to end up repurchasing this because I really, really love it. And this is all I have on today is just primer, that concealer under my eyes, and this. And it gives a really nice finish. And I think that's what I'm going to end up doing during the summer. And so therefore I need another one because this is going to be gone. And it's just really nice because I layer it over foundation or just on its own. And another powder, this is the Revlon Photo Ready. This is another old product that I kind of rediscovered this month. And it just looks like that. It's really like glittery, shimmery, so I don't like using it on its own. You can see how pigmented it is also on my finger. But it's really nice for just under the eyes because it's super brightening because it's so light that it's just really brightening under the eyes. And it just makes them look really nice. You can't see the glitter if you only put it under your eyes and I just really like this product. So it's a good way to try to use it up considering that I just had it sitting around and it wasn't getting any use. So yeah. Then for my eyes, I've just been doing simple eye look. I've been doing this look that I'm wearing right now basically every single day. You can see it's really light and it does not have anything on the lower lash line at all. I haven't been putting anything there just because I think it looks really bright for spring. And so I've been using my CoverGirl eyeshadow trio in Shimmering Sands almost every day. It's really nice. I just have been applying this light like champagne-y pink kind of color all over my lid whereas in the winter and fall I just used to use it on the inner corner and as a highlight and now I do that and all over the lid and I'll use the middle taupe color in the crease instead of all over the lid which is what I did in the winter and then I'll just use the dark brown for like outer corner or something and I love this eyeshadow trio cannot live without it it's really really awesome um and then the only other thing for my eyes is the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Volumizing Mascara. I love this mascara so much. I got it in my lash stash, and it's definitely my favorite that I've tried out of the lash stash so far. And probably one of the only ones that I'll actually end up buying in the full size. And I really want to buy this, but it's $18, so I'm like, I don't know. But it just makes my eyelashes look really nice and long and stay looking good all day. Um... Some more face stuff. I have my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. Love this. I was searching for this for months and I couldn't find it. And I was going to end up buying a really expensive, like, basically dupe of this because I could not find it. I looked in every drugstore. But I found it and it's just a really nice matte bronzer that looks really good on my skin tone. And it's not too pigmented or dark for my very fair skin. And I just really, really, really love this. I'm so glad I found it because it's only like $2.00. And then for blush this month, I've been using my Hard Candy Fox in a Box in the color Smooth Talker. And it looks like this. If you can see, it's a really neutral kind of uh, blend of like orangey kind of coral colors. But on the cheeks, it's a really pretty shimmery, um, golden shimmer coral orange. And it's really, 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 really pretty. 
Um, then I just have some lip products. Oh, I have one more face product. The e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. We all know I'm obsessed with this. I did a full review on it, so you can check that out in my other videos, right up above this video. And then I just have three lip products, and I'll be done. The first one, oh, four, actually. Luckily, I just remembered this. Okay, four. And actually, another thing that I just remembered. <laughs> Sorry. First one is the L'Oreal Color Riche Balm, and this one's in the color Nourishing Nude. I actually really like this. I don't think it's the same type of product as the Revlon Lip Butters. I would not compare the two of them, but I think this is really nice. It's a really pretty color, and it's so, like, glossy and luscious feeling on the lips. I really, really like this. Then I have a Revlon Lip Butter, which I'm also obsessed with these. I have, like, ten of them. Actually, I have five, but, um, this has been a definite favorite this month. This one's in the color Cherry Tart, and it's just a really pretty red you can see right there. And I've just been kind of dotting this onto my lips. I'll do it right now. I just kind of go like this. And it kind of stains my lips, like if I do it in the morning. And it just adds a little bit of color to my face since the rest of my makeup, as you can see, because this is what I've been doing every day, is pretty neutral. So, yeah, I already had lipstick on underneath that, but whatever. And the lipstick I already had underneath, underneath it was this Revlon Lip uh, Color... What is this called? I almost said lip butter, sorry. Uh, color Burst Lipstick, and this one's in the color Peach, and it's an orange color, basically. It swatches very, very orange, if you can see that swatch, but on the lips, it's just a really pretty coral color, and I actually love this so much. And Last thing for my lips, this is the MAC Lip Condi Conditioner SPF 15 with Lavender. This is from whatever collection. I knew it and I can't remember, so let me know if you know. Otherwise, I'm probably going to end up like looking it up because I really want to know now. And I got this at a CCO. I don't know why. I spent $11 on a chapstick, but you can't return. You can only get store credit, and mine is like an hour and a half away. So I figured I might as well just keep it and use it up. So I've been using it a ton just to actually like, like have my money be like well spent and if you can see I've actually made a very big dent in it in the short amount of time that I've had it and I use this every possible chance just as my chapstick and I'm out of a lot of my chapsticks and I've lost a bunch of them recently so it's actually good that I have that I guess and the last thing this is the body shop seaweed mud mask this is just a sample obviously but it's really, really awesome, and I do think I want to buy this, but I think it's kind of expensive, so I don't know. But um, it's a really good mask. If I have any breakouts this month, I would just put a little bit of this on it, or I would do it all over my whole face, too. But, like, occasionally, if I just had a breakout, I would just put it over that. Leave it for, like, 10 to 15 minutes, get in the shower, and it would just make them go away. Like, it's just amazing. So, yeah, that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys like this video. And sorry for the lack of videos recently. I've been literally so busy. It's kind of insane. So, yeah, I'm going to go now. I have to go take a shower and go to sleep because I have states tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!